good news, everyone. The best way to get clean. Don't forget to bring a towel. So let's do this thing. Welcome to the Lap Book Show. This is episode 64 for May the 9th, 2018. I'm your host, Stuart Edwards, and of course with me, as always, is Luke Pitimus Maximus. How are you doing, Luke? I'm lovely. Fantastic. And uh, Robert Yar <laughs> Davis. I don't know what I'm saying now. <laughs> you got no idea. Yar. <laughs> I'm the pirate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not. This is a uh, high digital policy. We're taking over the pirates. Yeah, yeah. Ah. The pirates are taking over the pirates. Right. Pirate. Pirates. <laughs> They're stealing from each other. Oh, that's new. Yeah, exactly. So, um, in today's show, we are going to talk about curious pastimes and, of course, pirates. Yar. Yeah. But before that, a little word from one of our sponsors. So, are you looking for top quality LARPing gear? Then look no further than LARP In. LARP In is one of the UK's largest online shops for the live action role playing hobby. Their Telford based warehouse ships costume, LARP armor, LARP weapons, and LARP accessories all over the UK and abroad. They also operate a showroom where you can drop by and pick up an order, try out a costume, or feel the weight of a new LARP weapon. They also frequently trade at events, so go and take a look at what they have to offer over at www.larpin.co.uk. LARPin is spelled L-A-R-P-I-N-N. And don't forget, say that LARP book sent you. So there we go. That's a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Rob is too low. He looks like a dwarf. <laughs> well then, Jamie. No. Well then, Jamie. That's rude, Jamie, because actually, you know, Rob is a dwarf. <laughs> that's, a bit, that's so harsh. That's a bit harsh. Oh, there you go. Harsh, harsh. <laughs> right. Oh dear, 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 dear. <laughs> Uh, that's good, I like that. <laughs> I'm not a dwarf. <laughs> Mind you, if the dwarfs from Infinity Wars are anything to go by, he's huge! We don't like to talk about uh, Infinity Wars. No. <laughs> no, we went we, we went to try to see Infinity Wars, did we, Luke? We did, but I actually went to go and see it in the end. Did you? No. Not happy with the ending. <laughs> Uh, it's a it's a perfect good, Rob hasn't seen it yet, so he can't really spoil it. Although I, I slight like... they all die they all die horribly and everyone turns to dust. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin it for you though. Uh, everyone dies. Now, everyone now, dies. Now no, everyone dies. Complaints. <laughs> Although I was slightly spoiling it on the way in the car on the way back. Slightly. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to drive and not say everyone dies. Everyone dies. Everyone dies. Everyone dies. So, so uh, yeah. So does everyone die, Luke? <laughs> it's it, 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 a bit rough then, Luke. Everyone, I, you end up going what? What? You, yeah, I, I will. I will happily agree with that. I know this has nothing to do with LARP, folks, but you do. You do end up going. No. What? But. <laughs> But I like him. <laughs> no, don't get rid of them. <laughs> and I like I her too. As well. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, this is just ridiculous. But yeah. Yes, it That's was. Infinity Wars for you. Yeah, it was. So, um, let's I, actually to our, let's start off uh, with with Luke because uh, Rob and I know what we're going to talk about oh. <laughs> in in that respect, yeah. right? But the Brixham Pirate festival i've seen a lot of the pictures there are a lot of them um, <laughs> and there's some marvelous pictures especially of the ship and what have you at night time uh coming oh, galliano in. mate mm. that's that is fantastic so 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 tell us all tell us everything right well you've got you've got to start with in january of this year no one thought brixham was going to happen okay um because funding just dried up for them and it was it was such a shame because brixham as a festival incorporates everything that we wanted to is a little bit of reenactment a little bit of cosplay 
a little bit of you know lamping because yeah, yeah. Of, of just of the of the way it is. So there there are storylines. They 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 you know they, they've got a kind of like a basic storyline to to what's going on. Yeah. But there are skirmishes and they use you know reenactment style cannons and there's there's a fight. It's always on either the Golden Hind or you know kind of whatever ship comes in. Yeah. Um, and it's a lovely weekend. Everyone can go. The family can go. But this year they didn't think they were going to raise the money, and then all of a sudden they officially cancelled it, and then all of a sudden it was back on again. So it was really weird um, to 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 have that happen. But it did happen, and it happened on one of the best weekends. Um, and it's just been oh, a yeah. stunning weekend. It was. Um, so the Brixham itself is a beautiful little harbour anyway, um, and the, the whole weekend is just around, uh, it's almost like the gathering in a kind of social way, yeah. um, but loads of people getting costume. I mean, you don't even need to be a part of the the actual, the, the group of the Brixham Pirates. Everyone comes, and they all have got their own kit. Surprisingly, yeah, yeah, yeah. loads of cosplayers who only do Brixham have what you would class as full-on kit. Right, okay. <laughs> that only, uh, only do Brixham. That only do Brixham. And you start going, that's a lot of money to spend on one day or, you know, a couple, <laughs> couple of days. So it's it's amazing to go to. Um, as you know, I play Man King George. And so yes. my entire job is just to be rude to absolutely everyone. Um, and there's a continuity factor there. Because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's no real change when I'm teaching to when I play Man King George just a different uniform That's right. so i um <laughs> yeah. so i spent the whole weekend just you know with a whole group of friends um and we did uh, battles off the spanish galleon okay uh, there were little skits here and there there were bands it was you know kind of um walking around and just being there for the general public it was it was a marvelous weekend and, okay you know and I, I can't i can't recommend it enough to be honest with you i think um most towns that are by the sea that have a little harbor that have anything to do with pirates should have a pirate festival i mean there's absolutely nothing yeah and of course i have a little bit to do with the brotherhood of the black as well yeah yeah and um and, and that's coming up and we're trying to it kind is of, it, um, is. I, it is. I'm, good. I'm looking forward to that because I get to play my Black Adder slash Baldrick slash whatever you need me to be yeah. type character. It, it is, and it, and it is. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? You know, kind of. So, um, yeah, I spent the whole weekend not at Curious Pastimes. I went to <laughs> the Bricks and Pirate Festival and had a lot of fun there. Yeah. It, it is. It's like I say, if you have never been to any kind of pirate style event, Brixton's a wonderful start. You yeah, know, yeah, definitely. three and a half mile, three and a half hours down the road for us, but um, hours, miles, I don't whatever. Know. Um, <laughs> but it was, it is an amazing, amazing thing to go to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so yeah. I had a lot of fun. Just, just a very sort of quick shout out then to people uh, actually in there. You know, don't forget to say hi to us uh, in in the chat so we know you're here. Uh, Pippa, hi. How's things going? Uh, Jamie, hi. Debs, we've always said hi. You know, uh, make sure you just kind of like you know bit of a thumbs up and a bit of heart, some heart action going on whatever you want to do but just let us know you're there and don't forget at any time if you want to interject you know uh, anything into the show put it up there we will see it simple as that we, um, mm -hmm. we're watching it all the time so <laughs> always watching <laughs> not creepy at all no no not creepy at all um, so yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really looking forward uh, to Brotherhood of the Black at Lan yeah. Lan uh, over in Nelson. So South mm -hmm. South Wales, everybody. It's a nice, easy place to say Lan <laughs> uh, Haunted Mansion. Yeah, it's a haunted. Anyway, we, we we found a place name you can pronounce. I know. <laughs> and uh, and it's also it's, it's also a haunted mansion as well. Uh, Halloween, they do amazing, amazing ghost tours. Uh, it's it's superb. Um, so that's uh, <laughs> it's a cool place actually. It's very pretty as well there. Uh, mm. Yes. In, yes. in fact, for 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 you lot to get that is a big boon, I think, for the piratey thing, Brotherhood of the Black, and for yeah. la for Landweichvau. I'm just going to keep and, say, and, saying land, land yeah, now. That's right. <laughs> and and what we're saying as well is that we're looking for people to to want to be a part of it as well. Yeah. So whether you're a trader or whether you're just someone who wants to do it, I mean, I mean, I've off, we we have always said, haven't we, that whether you're a cosplayer, a larper, or a reenactor, you know, this show is very relevant to you. The kit um, intermingles. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, you go there with just rags, uh, you know, jeans and a t-shirt, and you can still fit in, uh, yeah. which is what I love about it. It's it's very um, it's very accepting. Yeah. And, it, and I think when it comes to larping and families and having a good time and just going out there and you know, kind of um, doing something different, it's it's an amazing if thing. If only but, we knew somebody that had a larp shop where they could bring mm, lots of gear to it to you know. We sold, we sold it's just. <laughs> so yeah it's um it, it is it is amazing and like i say you know when when you've got l- so many different things to do where you've got your curious pastimey style yeah your reenacting style your pirate there's, there's something for everyone uh, yeah you know kind of um and you can get as involved or as be as arm reach as, as, as you possibly want that's what i loved about brixton yeah yeah, yeah. you could just sit there and drink all day have you um tea and coffee have you have you have you managed to uh persuade crimson moon to come back yes so crimson moon will be at all then there we go that's uh oh and i've got a bone to pick with you how much do you spend on my blooming account Oh, ah. don't worry. Yeah, no, 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 nothing. No, no it's no. hardly anything, mate. I hardly, think, hardly. Do you, know, no do you know what? I did. I didn't. I thought I actually have the, the the wooden ticket, and then you showed me the one you'd stolen from Crimson. Man. Oh yeah, I'll give it to Luke. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, you know what, that's exactly what. I think, that's I think, exactly. I think the word we said was, well, "Don't worry, we'll look after it and give it to Luke." And we and, looked after it. And I said it in exactly this way, Luke. I looked at. It, I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give that to Luke. Not a problem." Yeah. yeah. Anybody, See, that's exactly what I mean. If anybody hasn't seen the photos from the weekend, uh, Stuart and I, at the Crimson Moon, managed to come across um, a copy of Luke's tab. Uh, that's the little wooden tab that allows us to buy whatever we want, as much as yeah. we want. Uh, we, 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 we were busy. Yeah. I've got mine right here. Oddly enough, it, 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 it wasn't used that, that, that much on the weekend. No, Yours. No, it did you want, I, I, I must be honest, though, Luke, I thought it was very gracious of you. Uh, to allow us to use your tab, you know, because you weren't able to attend. I think that's yeah, very oh, nice. Oh, and look, thanks, thanks for dry cleaning, Bill, after I wrecked one of, one of the tablecloths. That's yeah, really yeah. Of you. And I must be honest, I think it's absolutely fantastic that you decided to buy everybody a drink uh, at the bar at the time for yeah. pure publicity purposes. Yeah, so thank you, Luke. Yeah, it's very, very good of you, very great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're laughing. I'm not laughing. You're laughing. And I'm not laughing. Oh, I'll be laughing when you get. I'll be laughing when you get the bill. That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, uh, okay, before we go on, I've I got two things. First of all, Luke, we're talking about Bob. Yes. Um, yeah. How do people get in touch? Oh yes. Right. So Brotherhood of the Black. Um, it's such a specific name. Go onto Facebook. Just put Brotherhood of the Black on there, um, and you will be able to find us. Um, there is the web page, um, which I'm randomly trying to have a look up now, but um, it is there. Um, if again, if you just put it into Google, uh, Brotherhood of the Black, um, you will find us there. Because again, it's a very, very specific name. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> you know, and and you, and you won't, you, you know, kind of you won't have any problems finding us. Not, um, not, so, n- not Brotherhood of the White or Brotherhood of the Grey. It's Brotherhood um, of the Black. Brotherhood of the Black. Um, and Bob, the Bob Festival is definitely on Facebook. So yeah. what I do is I'll put it onto the show notes, yeah. so that people can because you, you won't remember it now, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. it is there. Um, and uh, it, it's called the Brotherhood of the Black. Um, you know, kind of, and actually, as I put it in, um, it came up on the Google amount of searches. So what, it is there. What's it called again, Luke? Okay. Brotherhood of the Black. <laughs> Haven't you done enough damage by spinning my tab? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. I, no. We didn't buy bo- bottles of high-class meat at all. No. We didn't. Oh, I got the photograph. <laughs> I got, I got oh, photographs yeah, of you sat there saying thanks with a whole bundle of things in your hands. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, at, that keeps moon, yeah. and at this moment in time as well, I'd also like to say a massive thank you to Bo- Moxie of the Crimson yeah. Moon, uh, who made our, our stay there quite delightful. <laughs> oh, Moxie, thank you, yes. <laughs> yeah, on me, you git. <laughs> Moxie. Moxie. I all of this. Well, you know, I think it's good of you, mate. It's, it's, yeah. very, it's very big of you. It's very kind. But well, when I get to the uh, the festival at Langford, um, what I'm gonna do is the first thing I have to do is speak to Crimson Moon to see if I've got any credit left. 
um, <laughs> and then, then go from there. But Big. Ellie Prentice is the person who is um, is running that, yeah. and and I've been working with her, um, you know, kind of in a kind of very vague way to to try and help <laughs> her um, sort all of that out. So cool. we've still got a ways to go. It's you know, there's lots of stuff to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this will be probably one of the first ones I've had quite a lot to do with. Um, and the Brixham Pirate Festival just set it up. It, yeah. it was brilliant. And the people who go to Brixham and the organisers, I've got to say, the organisers this year were were just unbelievably good. Um, the same same people, just a whole different. I mean, they were invigorated almost to to want to make it work. Yeah, and they yeah, did a yeah. superb job. Fantastic. It was really really good. Can't fault it. Fantastic, really, really fantastic. Lovely weekend. And I came across Gideon as well. <laughs> Excellent. Who was pawning uh, um, kind of booze. Uh, out there in a kilt, no less. I couldn't get my camera out quick enough. Um, and uh, yeah, and he's uh, so I bought a, uh, a, a very expensive uh, thing of mead. And guess what he said? He sat there and went, Knowing how much mead you drink, yeah. you'll be back. <laughs> um, and, um, and I sat there and I went, Come on, look, Gideon, what do you think? Half an hour later, I was sat there thinking, I should really go back, but I haven't got any money. <laughs> um, and, and and honestly, the, the the stuff he was selling was it's just it was unbelievably nice. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, it, it was it was it was awesome. And it's just small world, isn't it? Yeah, People yeah. You meet. I didn't even know Gideon was going. Yeah, there, no. there he was. Yes, brilliant. It, 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 Born it, it, in booze. It is. It is good. It is good. So moving moving swiftly on, as they as they say. Uh, Pippa just sort of asked Rob Stew, did you guys have a good time at the CP event? Yes, yes indeed we great. did. We it was did. Brilliant. Yeah, very, 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 very happy with it again. Um, I can never say enough really about the organization and the professionalism um, oh. of everybody at Curious Pastimes that run the event. And the. Ha- I could have put this, yet the sheer niceness of the people that actually play the game as well. Um, I mean, I've just got to say, the everyone, the players, the event team, the vests, uh, MPs, the crew, yeah, lovely, lovely people. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, just less literally a warm family vibe going on even though there was quite a few hundred people there because uh, this is one of their their, their smaller events luke um they, they kind of run up to the big events so think of it in the way the gathering does the moots and what have you mm. um yeah, yeah, yeah. so i mean even smaller event how many people was there rob there's about uh, i'm not sure hundreds but not yeah the sort of vast numbers of the August game. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I think I think I hear a figure about three fifty, four fifty in 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 in, in that region. You know. Yeah, so that feels about right. Actually. Yeah. So again, quite quite a lot of people there, but again, didn't feel manic. Was, actually, no. The atmosphere was beautiful. It was kind of when there was action going down, it felt really intense. Yeah. But when there was just role play going down, it was just such a calm, relaxing. I think at the time I'd come to the studio, we were sat in the bar, and I suddenly realised that. Um, this was one of the nicest, most relaxed bars I've ever been in. Yeah, mm. yeah, definitely. Ever. We were just chill, absolutely yeah. and I, chill. And I think it's important, isn't it, that you don't. I, sometimes I feel as if you know, when you're role playing, you do need to have some reflection time. Almost, you need mm. to sit down yeah. and chill out and just just take it all in. Yeah. And I think the re- some of the best events I've ever been to, and it sounds as if what curious pastimes have pretty much nailed is this ability for you to be able to dip in and dip out um, and not feel as if you've got to be role playing constantly you know that you could go and start a dialogue with someone and then you know but then you could go and have lunch you can have a drink you can go to the shops and you know kind of of walk around and it's brilliant you know Mm. that kind of thing is i am looking forward to going to cp um in in august with with the family if nothing else just to go and see what all the fuss is about um and you know and someone's going to have to work off my bar bill. Um, well, I suppose if you... You've got well, children. <clears throat> yeah. I've already it. sold those to Gideon for mead. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea who's going to do the work then, Luke. Yeah. Uh, your wife, mm. maybe? Yeah. Becky, but uh, don't tell her, for God's sake. I won't. No, she never listens to this show anyway. No, so secret safe with me. It's fine. <laughs> Sit here behind the bar. <laughs> yes. 
So what was the plot about at CB then? Ooh, uh, plot. Yeah, plot. Uh, <laughs> it was. It was, it was more than one. It was, okay. They were. They, they were definitely yeah. plots plural. <laughs> okay. From the thick cruising, which are an amalgamation of Celtic clans, uh, making an annual sacrifice. Uh, they they have a big thing about celebrating the, the old Beltane festival for those right. clans, and having the opportunity to gain to be powerful. Uh, unfortunately, there are people. There are forces that did not want, did not want them to get it. Mm. So it was a race against time almost. Yeah, it was a race against uh, a fight against uh, evil. Yes, a, a, a fight a against evil, fight. A, a fight against evil, and a, a very very cool demon. Fair play. Who I'm as, as soon as I go through the footage, I probably guess get get some time. I uh, definitely I, got him monologuing. I have I I've got a fantastic uh, portrait shot of him. I just haven't finished my post my photo posting yet, but it is stunning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was. I, I mean, I just, I, lo I love it when you get, when you get a really good event. Everything about it just feels right. Yeah, and but so when you get really good demons, bad guys. Cause I love the bad guys. But also, I didn't really, make it for me. I was really make it, but also the other stuff. I mean, towards the end, we, um, uh, we were, we were the, the the tea room there, where there were took up the people who were trying to touch Enos from Green, Green Cloak. So you talk to him, Luke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, they, they, were, they had a team running the um, a tea room there, and they were talking about doing a mercenary job. And another mercenary was trying to crew, push in and set prices. And they had a little, little bit, and there are dozens and dozens of these tiny little plot lines all flying off. Yeah. Front. Did you say tea room? That sounds a bit civilized. It's very, it's very civilized. Very civilized. Beautifully civilized. Assassins and fighters sat there going, "Would you like?" Dodgy Ling, or, or is it just PG tips? So. Just well, you know, they have, they have many teas. They have many teas, you know, and there's many teas. And you can imagine, you know, the, the, the these these uh, you know assassins. When I feel like uh, one lump or two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. As you're talking about the destruction of the world, sipping your tea. That's a marvelous concept. <laughs> Yeah, I love the there's, there's a it, massive sense of irony there. In it, just the one lump. I am watching my figure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a fruit cake, anyone? Scum. Um, yeah, but, I think that's, that's really good. Yeah, they've got all, they've got all that stuff there as well. There, by the way. <laughs> that is brilliant. So, did you camp or did you? No, you we, it? we 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 bunked it this time. Uh, right, okay. We knew we were, we were going to be arriving after dark. Right. I didn't want to give everybody the comedy of. Watching me put a tent up after dark. There's a comedy watching you put a tent up in, in the day. In, in the day, yeah. Let, <laughs> True. <laughs> let alone the dark. Oh yeah. yeah. Look, I, I have a tip for you for August. If you haven't already got them, get yourself some stone pegs. Stone pegs. Yeah. There are okay. there there are boulders under the ground, mate. If you can bring a oh, jackhammer, do that. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I had a terrible time last year because I didn't know about this, and then Pippa, thank goodness, reminded me that everybody uses stone pegs this time. So it's like, right, August, I'll take the stone pegs or a jackhammer or a drill or something. Jackhammer, exactly. Well, how are you going to do it? Dig, 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 Fair enough. Or a drill, like I say, drill, get a hammer, drill into the thing, and then then put the peg in. All good. Absolutely, that's all good. So that that sounds, and you know, kind of which which um. Venue was it again? Uh, it's just pack our scout camp at this time, and it's the same for the for the for the, for the final event of the year for the August renewal event. Right, yeah, yeah. The yeah. so pack our scout camp is up near Chalfont Saint Giles, which is kind of um, east of Slough, west oh, of London. Right, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bit north of them both a little bit in the countryside. Very near nice. Dodgy nightclub. Very near a very dodgy nightclub. This nightclub's in the middle of nowhere. nowhere. It's called what? What's it called again, it's Rob? Called we winkers. Winkers. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was a nightclub. Do you want to? Do you want to come to the nightclub? Do you want to come to the nightclub? Hey, eh? hey, eh? no, huh? not going there. No. <laughs> Seriously, every every part of it sounds wrong. wrong. Oh, oh. <laughs> Tell me you went. God no, because <laughs> look, you you know what would happen. We'd end up in there. I'd have to start wearing the butterclass chaps again and all the rest of it. So um, they're comfortable, but you know. Yeah. So you went then. <laughs> We're tempted one year. We must. We must go. <laughs> I think that's got to be on mass. The whole of Curious Pastimes has to go into that winkers. 
which actually you get drunk starts to turn into something completely different, isn't it? There you go, wankers. Um, um, <laughs> so yeah, that, that sounds amazing though. But, and the whole thing about Curious Pastime sounds. I mean, it's been going for quite a while, hasn't it? Over twenty years. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, it's been like twenty-two years now. Yeah. Wow. So they've got long, that really long time sussed out. Oh, that they, they have. They've got it very sussed out. Uh, when you see the organisation level, because um, they have these these separate teams that are all intercommunicate as well, um, and each team does a, a specific job in in, in that respect, mm-hmm. right? Whether it be a backroom crew, event crew, monster crew, NPC crew, that sort of thing, right? And it, they just do it so bloody well. I mean, I honestly, mm. you know, if 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 ever I wanted someone to run an event I don't care what an event it was I'd just be calling these guys because <laughs> they do it, it so well it naturally to them yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, and, and they have just a fantastic team they just and and you have the weather so as well I mean we thought Brixham was nice but I think that's important though isn't it to have good weather I know it sounds like as if I'm 84 yeah. now saying this but you know because I've done LARPing in, 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 when it's weighing it down yeah. and you really know you're LARPing and you really have to want to be there but the good weather I think is is, is a big bonus yes, mm. oh no it, it, it yeah, massively uh, massively is yeah 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 mm. yeah. so uh, you obviously bought on my card oh uh, yeah so um, the Crimson Moon were they, were they awesome as normal <gasps> oh, oh I've got to tell you about Saturday night because they were brilliant oh. on Saturday night they were brilliant yeah. like they were they awesome all the time we, we won't mention the yeah uh, yeah. we might have spent some money uh, Moxie was really helpful though yeah 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 yeah, but no. On Saturday, on Saturday night, it was just a read. It, first of all, the atmosphere was great in there. From the time we we entered it, quite after the starting of the Beltane Festival, the atmosphere was in it was lovely. By the way, I, I love seeing the start of the Beltane fires being laid. That was a lo- brilliant oh, yeah. piece of role playing. Brilliant, it was masterful. I take my hat off to you, sir. <laughs> yeah, and I've got all all that on video as well. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, because I mean, I, I've not seen anything from that. Yeah. It's it's great because you, you when you go to the Brixham Festival, you actually don't know. Who's yeah. taking yeah. photographs, and yeah. everyone then just weighs in, and you've got photographs. My daughter was on the front of the Brixham Express. Brilliant! I didn't even know that. Neither did she. Just <laughs> and you all of a sudden yeah. find it on Facebook. But I got to you what happened that on that Saturday. It was really a bunch of the scouts that helped run and staff the camp. Right. Eight of them, nine of them, one yeah. in. Yeah, of of uh, of of drinking age. I will. will of drinking, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, before yeah. before you think of like small wee it's children. And 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 uh, Ian uh, Ian started to sing the bard them and sing to them. Yeah. And then everyone in the in the bar just joined in, and it was an almighty big loud sing song. It was fantastic. Yeah, which which is actually up on 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 the page as well, up on Facebook. You, you might have, uh, right. you know, yeah, ha- have, have a look at that. Uh, take take me to Valhalla, or I race you to Valhalla, oh, is, Valhalla. Is, is what it's called. Yeah, yeah. yeah and and uh, it's very good. Everybody joins in. He also does one about a pussy cat, but we won't go into that here. No. <laughs> no. no. Because the even though the lyrics are completely innocent, you turn it into something else. <laughs> it oh, is the most innuendo laden song ever. <laughs> Massively. <laughs> but it is, but it is brilliant, and it doesn't matter, you know, if you've if you if you're having a horrible day. <laughs> Cheers you up regardless, regardless. Uh, just a quick one from, from Pippa, which I quite like as well. Uh, she says, yep, the ground at Parkar is horrific for putting tents up. You need rock, pe- rock pegs or rebar. <laughs> rebar. I will listen yeah, to your yeah, advice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's that's not. Brilliant. She's not wrong as well. It is yeah. horrific. <laughs> but no, that, that's it's it's good, isn't it? Because uh, the problem is you can go with the best intentions with everything, yeah, and uh, and actually not be able to put your tent up. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's that's a good piece of advice. Thank you very much. For yes, that. not a problem yeah. at all. I wouldn't mind hearing more of that from like different sites. Uh, which ones are easy to tents up? Which ones are hard? <laughs> or you need to take with you? That'd be really helpful. Yeah, well, yeah. And plus about events where, because you know, kind of 
CP like um, you know kind of uh, a lot of it the, they're not the only people doing what they're doing these are just our experiences we still just go off to all these events but it'd be interesting to see who's doing what and when they come back if they wanted to do either a short little video or if they wanted to talk to us just yeah, something please. you know blog in while you're there yeah send it in because yeah. um, it's great to have that as you you know as things are happening kind of thing you know um, before you forget and it's so easy now isn't it to do a little blog and Send well, it on it. Well, yeah. Who wants to? Love to, love to do that. Yeah. You know, we've we've always said that. You know, do do a little mm. video. You know, send it in to us. Right. We'll edit it up or whatever we need to do, and and you know, uh, put it up on the page because this is this is all about you guys. At the end of yeah. the day, you know, yeah, yeah. we're we're only here to try to promote LARP in a in a positive light and, and have good fun. Uh, but yeah. it's it's you guys that actually make it. So. Do something, you know, just you know, yeah. get your phone going, yeah, you know, do a little bit mm-hmm. of a video and send it into us, because me as so well. So how, how did the CP event end? Did you win? Oh, they... They had a hard time. They had a hard had, time. Yeah. That's, I love I, it when you have to fight. They, they say, I think the next few events is going to be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, consequences. Mm. <laughs> right, okay. I kind of I don't like I have to be honest I mean I did moan about the Avengers but it was really the only ending that could happen yeah without yeah. ruining that everyone dies right <laughs> really I've not um, heard that before but uh, I thought that that you know the ending where everyone dies not to ruin it um, is, was the only one Stu that I thought they could have yeah, 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 yeah. left it it kind of there were things that were said that left it open, but I thought it was the only end. And I kind of like that with um, LARPing events where, you know, not every time everyone's going to win. It's not going to have that happy ending all the time. No. You know, sometimes you lose. That's it, and you don't manage to achieve yeah. the, the, the end goal. And I like that. I have to say, oh, no, there's I something about them. the struggle. I love the struggle. I love it when it gets really tight and tough and you just don't know what's going to happen or yeah, yeah. you don't get quite what you need and you go, oh, what happens next? And then it carries on into next. What are you laughing at now? Oh, man. What do I say? <laughs> well, it's Jamie. It's Jamie being Jamie. I'll put it up. Uh, uh, on day one at Lorien Trust, you could slide our big 12-inch pegs into the ground with your hand. It was a little oh. soft to start with. <laughs> That's our sponsor, everybody. There we are. Well done, Jamie at Larkin. He's going to get his money's worth, isn't he? Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> no, I God sake, what are you doing? Ten pegs now, aren't they? Oh, God, I really hope they're ten pegs of that. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, this, this show has a whole different meaning. Ten Diff- pegs, but, Jamie, uh, uh, are, they, uh, are they narrow or wide? Oh, no, stop. Stop. Well, don't help Stop. him. He doesn't need encouragement, Robert. He doesn't need encouragement. You, you know what he's like. He'll only <laughs> bloody comment now, and then we're all for it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was that clean rating. Oh, oh God. Yeah. You no, know, I've, 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 I've forgotten that ages ago, mate. <laughs> oh, Every, right. Everyone's got an E next to it now. There's just no point. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so you struggled, you struggled to finish, and... What happened in the end? I mean, you said there were going to be consequences. Oh, there's, there? there's definitely going to be consequences. Well, there was. Well, the thing is, look, if you say much more, we're going to be. We're going to be good. We've already spoiled Avengers. We don't want to spoil the next CP event. <laughs> is there anything I should go? I mean, I haven't even got a character. That's okay. You, you can generate one of there. The God team are, are, are great. Yeah. Yeah. With the process. Yeah. Yeah. We can have in mind. Monstering too. Yeah. To... Pardon? As you know, I love monstering. Well, yeah. What we'll, we'll do? We'll have a. a I'm going to be. Chatting to them after, after, actually, after late on today, just to make sure we've got everything sorted out. But yeah, between yeah. now and then, I'll chat to them about sort of monstering playing. Oh yeah. Um, and we'll absolutely see what we can sort out there. But yeah, when it comes to generating characters, the God Team who help you generate your characters are really good. If you go to the website beforehand, you'll get an idea what the nations are like and the kinds yeah, of yeah. characters you can play. Uh, also, have a look at the photos that that ourselves and Oliver Stacey and. Steve Mitchell are taking because they will really give you a visual feel of how yeah. things are, especially all of us and Steve there. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're yeah, it, you know, good. there are, you, you look at those and you, <laughs> we look at those and go like, yeah, we'll, we'll use these. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are, they are very good. They are very good. But then again, as we found out from Oliver, right, he's at a LARP every single weekend. 
Really? <laughs> wow. Oh, I tell you, we we should um, we should put his if he's got like um, a web address. Oh yes. Because I love to see just other larks. I'll, and... Yeah, I will. I will put his address in the show notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that people can actually see that. Yeah, I mean, because he I'd... he sells these photographs as well, so it it is yeah, a, you yeah. know a bit of a kind of a side uh, line for him as well, also. But uh, mm. you know, we should, we should give where credit where credit is due. Oh yes. I mean, they did it at the Brixham event where they had a photographer there who just took crowd shots and then just made one person. Come, I come out. Very slightly. I don't yeah. know how they do it. Um, and uh, the photographer is absolutely magnificent. And you got some very natural shots yeah. of people who were wearing kit and are not really. They even got a policeman Hang on. Did who was not, in a set of stocks getting kit? walloped by sponges. Brilliant. Pardon, Rob. Did you just look, look to say they're pirates not wearing kit? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they were kind of not all dressed up. Not everyone was dressed up. At least not naked then. Later on, you know, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Who indeed knows? Who, who indeed knows? knows? <laughs> uh, who knows what happens on that galleon? Exactly. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's good. It's good, and uh, and it was brilliant photography. There's there's a lot of very good photographers out there. Um, yeah, there and, are. Uh, if he's going to uh, your man there, who's talking, you were talking about. If he goes to an event every week, it'd be great just to follow. Yeah, what they're doing every weekend. I love he's to see. Work. I love to see all the costumes. I'll, I'll get those web. I made notes, mm. and I put. Those I'm going to put those in the show notes. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Excellent. Right, we'll uh, we'll move on a bit then. Uh, da, 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 da. We have got some events coming up as well. Uh, Green Cloaks Event 1, uh, that's on May the 11th uh, to May the 13th. That's at Broadstone Warren Scout Camp and Activity Centre. It's the activity centre that makes it. Uh, <laughs> And then you've got Convergence, which is Wyvern Tales' annual big event. That's on May the 25th to May the 22nd, and that is at Huntley Wood, Cheadle, Stoke-on-Trent. Now, I believe you're going to that one, aren't you, Robert? I am crewing that one. There so, we yeah, go. I, I will be there. And I, 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 I did converge, I crewed Convergence last time, and it was so so much fun. Cool. I, uh, there was like uh, the small game. Yeah. And <laughs> it, it it work the convergence works on dealing with all the plot lines that have been set up on the monthly and week weekend games throughout the previous year. So there's cool. a ton of plot going on, a ton of just talky role play, and, a ton of it's, it's perfect. Yeah, and of course we've wanted to see Huntley Wood anyway. So yeah. prime, you know, fantastic opportunity for you to report on what the site is like as well. I will be doing that. Excellent. We'll be doing that. Excellent. I'm looking forward to getting a lot of pictures and some, again, some video posts coming out to let everybody know just what it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. excellent. Okay, then right there. So, um, that's I think it's probably that's a little bit from us tonight. We we, a shorter one for 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 change. Wow, (laughs) that's a novelty. (laughs) You got a short? You got a short show? I know. What's going on? So I suppose then just another sort of very quick word then from our sponsor, which is LARPIN at LARPIN.co.uk. That's L-A-R-P-I-N-N.co.uk. Lots of wonderful kit. They've got a fantastic new unit where you can go uh, and actually sort of try out some gear, pick up your orders, uh, make an order, whatever it was. Don't forget, they also do a lot of bespoke work as well. So if you need something uh, particularly fancy or uh, specialised, uh, Jamie and the crew there will definitely help you out there. So that's larpin.co.uk. Or just find Jamie on Facebook. <laughs> mm. You'll talk to him at some point. Um, so uh, just a, kind of a little one then from us. Um, just like I say, we, we have picked up a, a, a few new patrons as well. So a big, big, big thank you to all of our lovely patrons as well who just yeah, makes it a bit easier to keep this show going because um, everything else comes out of our own pockets uh, so if you'd like to you know sponsor us uh, you know give us a little bit of patreon money in that respect uh, pop across to patreon.com forward slash larp book it's pretty easy to find us just Lark book in the <laughs> in in into the Googles 
Um, Let me see. What happens if I type laugh book into the Google? I, I have no idea. Um, so, so oh, there's loads of stuff about laugh book. <laughs> so, of course, <laughs> if you'd like to get in contact with the show, just email contact us at laughbook.com. Uh, if there's a topic or um, a game you, you go to or anything that you'd like us to discuss, you know, then get in contact with us because that's what we do type thing. Mm. Um, so music was provided, as always, by Ben Sound at bensound.com. Uh, we do have a shop, and that's over on Facebook. So if you go across to facebook.com forward slash larpbook forward slash shop, buy some lovely swag, some gear uh, from us. And it's very top quality stuff. Fair play. We're very happy with it. Uh, you can listen to the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, uh, Twitch, when I remember to put it up there. Uh, <laughs> and, of course, larpbookmedia.com, which is our new website for all of the media stuff. Just search for LARPbook. I think you're getting the idea here now. Uh, the website is obviously LARPbook.com. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Just search for LARPbook. Uh, on Instagram, we are the LARPbook. We will get LARPbook, goddammit. Uh, and don't forget to give us a five-star review on iTunes or whatever podcatcher or however you actually listen to the show because it does help us out quite a lot. I've been Stuart, that's been Luke, that's been Rob. From us, a fantastic good night and happy LARPing, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye.